All right. If you're still trying to stay on top of what's happening in the Austin real estate market, maybe not just Austin, but maybe even one of the suburbs around, you're going to love this monthly series that I do. And today I am talking about Georgetown, Texas. What is happening in the real estate market for Georgetown, Texas? Let's look at the numbers. All right, guys. So this is exactly what we should be seeing this time of year. We've got active listings continuing to go up, even if just a little bit. Um, Moving ready homes are popping up a little bit. That means our resale inventory is at least coming to market. There's not as much as there usually is, but there is inventory um, of resale coming to market. That's a good thing. Um, under contract also going up. We expect to see that this time of year. Average days on market going down. Exactly what a healthy market should look like at this time of the year. Um, average sales price dropped a little bit. That's less than 1%. I'll say that's basically stable over last month. Um, and then close in the last 30 days, we are continuing to go up. So overall, this is what we should see for this time of the year, this kind of March, April timeframe. Listings should be coming to market. Prices should be going up. Uh, days on market should be coming down. That's if we're in a healthy real estate market. And overall in Austin, Texas, we are still in a healthy real estate market. A lot of people are putting out clickbait articles about how, you know, the, the, the market's tanking and all this other stuff. Guys, I'm not seeing in the data. Uh, maybe I just don't know how to look at data, but numbers are kind of numbers. Um, I don't know. That's the way I see it. Guys, if this is the kind of content that you're looking for, make sure that you are paying attention to this channel. Click that subscribe button and let me know if you're trying to move to the Austin area. I would love to help you out. See you next month.